Tamatoa hadn't always been that glam. According to him, he was a drab little crab once, but there might actually be more to it than that. Clearly, his history with the little semi-demi mini-god Maui ran deep, judging by how much the massive crab knew about the hook-wielding shapeshifter. Well, there is a chance that Tamatoa didn't always live in the realm of monsters. In fact, according to this theory, the crab actually had a deep and adventurous past that, if somehow proven to be true, could reveal an interesting yet disturbing relationship between Tamatoa and Maui. While he was only ever shown in Moana to be the massive coconut coconut crab, there's a strong chance that Tamatoa was once a human that may have had familial ties to Maui. It all started with a fan theory that was originally made famous by the Super Carlin brothers on YouTube, but has slowly expanded as fans have discovered and added more information to it on forums and Reddit. The theory suggested that long before he arrived among the beasts in the realm of monsters, Tamatoa was actually a human whose spirit was reincarnated by the same god who gave Maui his powers. Only instead of a humanoid demigod, Tamatoa was turned into a massive crab that Moana met him at. Originally, there wasn't an insane amount of detail surrounding what Tamatoa's human life might have been like, but the theory still did a good job of explaining why he could have been a human in the first place. You see, according to the official book by Jessica Julius and Maggie Malone, The Art of Moana, before he was ever conceptualized as a crab, Tamatoa was designed as a giant, headless warrior from an oceanic myth. This shows that the character's designers initially intended for Tamatoa to be humanoid, and if this theory is proven to be true, then that would mean the designers kept that idea in their hearts and said, simply made him a monster created out of the soul of a human. And if that's the case, then the conflict between Tamatoa and Maui might go deeper than anybody realized. On top of that, according to the creators of Moana, the underworld-like realm known as Lalutai was originally intended to be a realm that was inhabited by the Polynesian ancestral spirits before it became the realm of monsters. This also implies that Tamatoa was originally designed as the spirit of a former human, only, according to this theory, he was a human that ended up becoming Maui's half-brother. Now, when it comes to Tamatoa, his connections to Maui always seemed to be hidden behind the massive battle that occurred between the two and was hardly mentioned in the movie. Aside from a few offhand lines from the giant crab in his song Shiny and a tattoo on Maui's chest, there wasn't much to go off of. But when you really think about it, that's actually a whole lot of information right there. First off, you can be certain that an intense battle broke out between the demigod and the decapod simply because Maui had a tattoo of it on his chest. As fans learn from the song You're Welcome, any tattoo that Maui had was based on what he perceived as a great or important moment in his life, from the depiction of Minnie Maui pulling in the sun to extend the length of the day, to the heartbreaking image of his parents throwing him into the sea when he was a baby, any tattoo that he had was a massive point in his life. In other words, he wouldn't have had a tattoo of his fight with Tamatoa if it wasn't a formative or important moment. And according to this theory, that importance came from the fact that Tamatoa was once a human and sort of became family to Maui after the same god that empowered Maui reincarnated Tamatoa as a crab-like sea monster. And that only made their battle as demigod and giant crab even more personal. You see, Tamatoa himself solidified the fact that he knew Maui before he became the giant crab that almost ate Moana during the hit song Shiny. During the song, after he saw that Maui couldn't control the hook, Tamatoa began to taunt him before saying the very important line, yet I have to give you credit for my start. This is a very quick detail that's easy to miss, but clearly implies that Maui knew Tamatoa before the crab became the guardian of Lalutai. In fact, according to this theory, Maui may have been involved in the events that caused Tamatoa's death as a human, which resulted in one of the gods of the ocean turning him into the giant crab as punishment. Actually, from some of the lines in Shiny, it sounds like Tamatoa not only knew Maui really well, but even sort of idolized him like a younger brother would an older one. For instance, when he sang the line, like you, I've made myself a work of art, he referred to Maui's tattoos in comparison to his shiny gold-covered shell. But when he used the term work of art, it implied that he felt some sort of envy toward Maui and in a way modeled his entire flashy look after the demigod. And as the song continued, Tamatoa only further enforced the fact that he knew Maui really well by being the first person in the movie to mention Maui's official backstory. He sings about the humans that Maui so desperately tried to make want him as if he knew the story from personal experience. In fact, after you hear the next major part of this theory, you might even think that he was one of the humans that used Maui by making him feel wanted, only deepening the connection between Maui and Tamatoa before they ultimately became demigod half-brothers. The theory continues to go deeper as another fan on Reddit pointed out that the feud between Maui and Tamatoa might have even started over the heart of Tafiti, which both characters so desperately sought. In Moana, Tamatoa showed a clear interest in the heart, especially when the young seafarer pulled out a barnacle covered in bioluminescent algae to 
disguised as the heart and used it to easily distract the monstrous coconut crab. And it's likely that this interest wasn't spontaneous, and thanks to this theory, fans now have an idea of where it came from. You see, a Redditor went out of their way to expand on the idea that Tamatoa was human and pointed out that there was a decent chance that in his past life he was a treasure-hunting pirate whose personality transferred with him into his new life. And to make things even more interesting, it's suggested that he knew Maui during his life of piracy and before he became his half-brother. The first bit of supporting evidence that the Redditor brought to the table was the fact that Tamatoa was driven by greed and obsessed with gold and shiny treasures which were displayed in his iconic song. Now, it should be pointed out that in real life, the coconut crab is a species that has been known to steal and hoard shiny objects, but Tamatoa took things to a whole new level in terms of pure gluttony. This is a personality trait that, according to the theory, followed Tamatoa over from his past life as a pirate who was also driven by greed and gold. Also in the song Shiny, Tamatoa even used pirate references and terminology within the first few lines, which could also signify his past ties to the pirate's life. In the song, he described his back as a sunken pirate wreck when referring to all of the gold and treasure on it, followed by the line, scrub the deck and make it look shiny, again alluding to the deck of a pirate ship. And if this theory somehow proved to be true and Tamatoa was a human pirate in his past life, it would certainly explain his relationship with Maui and how the pair could potentially be related in terms of Polynesian gods. Another indication that there was more to Tamatoa's story than what initially met the surface was the fact that he appeared to be fluent in French with the line, C'est la vie mon ami, being casually thrown into his hit single. And though the story of Moana was set long before French explorers ever made contact with Polynesians, pirates have been around practically forever and often learned the languages of wherever they frequented, which makes piracy the perfect excuse for Tamantoa's bilingual abilities. On top of that, Polynesians have always had a connection to piracy in the sense that many pirates took a major style trend from Polynesian culture, the tattoo. In fact, even the word tattoo comes from the Polynesian language, with the idea of inking one's skin only being made famous after the notorious Captain Cook began voyaging around Polynesia. This implies a strange connection between pirates and Polynesian culture that, in a way, supports the idea that Tamatoa may have once been a human who spent his life pirating around the Polynesian islands and learning their ways before he became a part of their spiritual lineage forever. Now, as the theory goes, while Tamatoa was still a human, he likely met Maui as he traveled around the islands and, whether it was Maui who told him about the heart or not, Tamatoa somehow became interested in it. And after realizing that Maui would do anything to have humans love and want him, the pirate used the demigod to find and retrieve the heart for it. However, as the movie showed, Maui only managed to get his hands on the stone for a brief time before he lost it, which, according to the theory, is what resulted in Tamatoa being turned into the clam crab that he was in Moana. After it was discovered that a human pirate was the one who convinced Maui to put the entire world in jeopardy, the same god of the ocean that turned Maui into a demigod handed the pirate their punishment, and in this case that meant death and reincarnation into a monster whose single purpose was to guard the realm of monsters. Interestingly enough, in actual Polynesian lore, Maui's father was the god Takaroa, which is very close to Tamatoa. But even if it was a god by a different name, that act of reincarnation and by the rules of the gods, that would make the god who created Tamatoa the equivalent of Tamatoa's parents, meaning that he would be related to any other demigod created by them. And in the case of this theory, that would include the crab's arch nemesis, Maui. What do you think about this story, though? Is there a chance that Tamatoa was once a human pirate that died chasing the heart of Nefiti, only to be reincarnated into Maui's coconut crab half-brother? Make sure you let us know in the comments below.